Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for joining in. Ten hands of bridge to play as usual. I'm set up to play standard today. So five card majors, strong no trump, stamen and transfers. One diamond from north, and we have 12 high card points with a four card heart suit. So this is just one heart. We could probably going to end up in three no trumps here. Yeah, I'm just going to bid three no trumps. It's a little tight. I'm over, I've only got 12, and partner may only have 12. So we may only have 24 between the two hands. And my hand's not great. There's no 10s. It's very balanced. But I don't want to be left languishing in two no trumps. So let's bid three no trumps. Hey, Phil in Sydney. Hey, SB. Terence, Heather, welcome. And what have we got? Five of clubs. So we've got four spade tricks. After the club lead, we've got a couple of club tricks. So four, six, heart trick seven. We've got a bit of work to do. So let's just play low and see what happens. Uh, no, uh, sorry, West has led the five of clubs. So let's just see what's happening here. King. Okay, well, that's good news. Um, so now we've got four spade tricks, three club tricks. So that's seven. We can set up one heart trick for eight. We just need one more trick. So yeah, maybe hearts break three, three. You know, maybe I can play, I can establish one heart trick and hope that the hearts break. I think that's as good as anything. Um, if that doesn't work, we've still got the chance of the diamond finesse. So let's give that a shot. I'm just going to win the ace of clubs and play a heart. Okay, so, so far so good. It's, this has turned out to be a little bit... Uh, so far, king of clubs was with east, which was good. Ace of Hearts is with West, which is okay, but that doesn't necessarily give us enough heart tricks yet. Let's see what's happening. So 9-7. Yeah, there's still, there's no guarantee of um, enough heart tricks here. West could easily have um, ace jack of hearts still so i'm not super keen on playing another heart what have we lost i'm more inclined to yeah i'm more inclined just to play low here lose a diamond and see what west uh, see what east does okay great i've now got one more tricks um Here we go. We win. And I still I still don't really want to play a heart. We still might have a couple of hearts. So I'm going to, you know, if if um, diamonds break, I'm going to get Yeah, so if diamonds break, I've got two more tricks at the end. So dime, uh, I'll just play my spades. Oh, actually, oh, no, that's fine. Hey, shut. Yeah, that's... Um, Might have done... Yeah, that's about as good as we can do. Okay, that's all fine. So kind of worked out pretty well in the end. Uh, East and West didn't – perhaps the defense was a little bit soft. They didn't make it that hard on me. Um, you may be wondering why West chose to lead a club. Well, let's look at the auction. North bit a diamond and I bit a heart and North bit a spade. So West was simply leading the unbid suit. So that's fair enough. Um, it, it would have been a lot easier if West had led a heart because then I would have got two heart tricks. So that's fine. That's, um, we'll take it. 
Okay, hand two. And uh, hey, Mark and Torox. Where's Torox, Mark? Torox. Yehudit, welcome. Therese, Dawn, uh, John, hiya. So that's a pass. Pass, one diamond, one spade, two diamonds. Hmm. Well, North has shown a five card spade suit. Um, so we only have a seven card spade fit. I don't really want to defend two diamonds. So I'm not keen on passing. I'll just bid two hearts here. And Okay, well, that's fine. We had a seven card spade fit and a seven card heart fit to maybe, you know, we could have defended two diamonds. As it happens, we've got a, quite a lot of points in the diamond suit, which isn't exactly what we wanted. Okay, so what have we got? Let's just quick review here. So pass, pass, a diamond, a spade, two diamonds. Well, let's follow suit here. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to draw some trumps, I guess. Um, there's not much, there's, a, there's no point in playing a heart to the jack. Uh, West has almost certainly got one of the missing honours. What I'm going to do is play a heart to the nine, and I'm going to hope that East has got the ten of hearts and one of the missing honours. So here we, oh, oh, blast. I kick, uh, I clicked the wrong card. That wasn't so good. I meant to play the three of hearts and I clicked the ace of spades instead. That's annoying. Okay, well, that's so much for that plan. Uh, okay. Well, I kind of messed this hand up. I just, I just messed the hand up. I'm just going to try and do something else. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, well, this hand is just disaster. Oh. I had a rough spade. Well, I, I can just duck this. If I win this with the Ace of Hearts, I've still got the Queen of Hearts to lose. So I'll just duck, and now I've got two more heart tricks. So that's... Um, that didn't quite plan out. That didn't quite go as planned. Never mind. Okay, next hand. Let's just... We'll ignore that little um, accident. Uh, okay, what have we got? 12, 13, 14, 17 high card points. So this is one diamond. Two clubs, all right. Um, okay, I can bid two spades now. I'm strong enough to bid two spades. Show my second suit. Three no trumps. I've already shown a good hand, so there's nothing more for me to do here. Um it may even be a bit of a misfit, so happy enough in three no trumps. Four, five, six, seven, eight tricks. Jack of hearts lead. That's probably a doubleton heart. The fact that, so again, Easter's, let's just look at that heart lead again. It looks a little odd. Jack, Jack normally promises the ten. Why did East do that? Well, again, East is just leading the unbid suit. 
Uh, and it's actually a very good lead for East and West. I would far rather East had led her own suit, but good defenders don't just automatically lead their longer suit. Uh, East is leading the unbid suit, which is good for East and West and bad for me. So, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to duck this. Okay, well, that's all right. So, East did well. And now, remember, North is the declarer. So, East and um, East can't see those clubs in the North hand. Now, it looks like a crazy lead, but remember, the North hand is hidden. So that's good news. So we can just win this jack. Uh, what have we got? Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine tricks easy enough. I can afford to... I can play a diamond. Oh, okay, so we got lots of tricks now. I can just concede a diamond. And we've got the rest. So uh, let's just not mess this up. Jack of spades. Ace of clubs pitching a heart. And now my hand is good. I don't even need the king of clubs anymore. Andrea is saying still in Japan. Yes, in Japan for one more week heading back to New Zealand on Sunday, Sunday, Monday. So next Monday, I'll be able to wear my T-shirt again. <laughs> Good. All right. So again, uh, East did well there by leading the Jack of Hearts. Looks strange. It's a good lesson, though. Strange lead, Jack from Jack Doubleton, but it is the unbid suit. So that was a good lead from East, but then she just failed to... Um, take advantage of that good lead and leading another heart I still would have been okay but I just would have been a bit nervous uh, Heather's saying does the two club bid show 10 plus yes it does new suit at the two two level 10 or more points and here we go let's play hand four hey Marianne and Rotorua One diamond, pass, pass. So I, I can bid a heart here, five card heart suit. I'm certainly not going to defend one diamond. I know I've got some diamonds here, four of them, but I'm just going to bid a heart, pretty simple. Showing North that I've got a five card suit. Sometimes in this, because the bidding's about to die out, a diamond, pass, pass. Sometimes in what they call the balancing position, so when the bidding's about to die out, you're in the balancing position. Sometimes we, we're a bit stuck for a bid. We want to bid something, but we don't have a five-card suit, and maybe the hand's not quite right for double. So sometimes I could bid one heart there on a four-card suit. Sometimes, only balancing. Uh, but in this case, got, i got five, so that's all fine. Right, King of Diamonds. Well, that ten and nine of diamonds, they're actually pretty good cards because are they ace? Yeah, they are. It means my eight of diamonds is a... I've got a trick at the end with the eight of diamonds if I need to. Uh, so what am I going to do here? I sort of want to... I think I want to draw trumps. Yeah, a bit awkward, isn't it? I sort of want to draw trumps, but I... In the wrong hand and I don't really I'm not super keen on playing a heart you know West could easily have the king queen of hearts anyway I mean he did open the bidding and East passed so East has got not much uh, 
bit tempted just to win the Ace of Diamonds and play Ace of Hearts than another heart, to be honest. Uh, Heather's saying establish the clubs. Yeah, could do Heather. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I think I'm just going to play Ace of Hearts than another heart. So East had the Queen of Hearts. Interesting. Um, okay. Let's go back to the Queen. Draw another Trump. Oh, East had King Queen of Hearts. East had King Queen Fifth of Hearts. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so East has still got one heart left, and that is annoying. Here come the diamonds. Yeah. So unfortunately, if I could get the lead, I'd be fine. But unfortunately, West is probably going to play another diamond, yep, and East is going to rough. So I'm going to be one down. That's really annoying. Um, okay, it was rough. And then I got the last two tricks. Maybe I could have played that better. Kind of disappointing that East did have the King, Queen of Hearts. So I suspect that won't be a good score for me. No, it's not. It's a terrible score. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, well that was bad. I didn't want to I didn't want to finesse East for the hearts because West opened the bidding and I just thought West is quite likely to have King Queen of Hearts. And unfortunately East had the King Queen of Hearts, so that was just a disaster. Uh Therese saying one no Trump from partner would have been better. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean North's only only got Two small diamonds, 10 nine of diamonds. North doesn't, North's not that keen on bidding a no trump when West has bid a diamond and East has got two small. It might have worked out okay on this hand, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind North passing my one heart. Hey, one no trump would have worked out. You're quite right, Therese. But yeah, I, I can't really fault North for bidding that. I, I'm, I'm going to accept the blame. I accept the blame for my card play there. Heather's, Heather's saying, what should I have done? Actually, I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know what I should have done. Just not that. Okay, let's play hand five. So I've misclicked. I've got lost on this hand. 10, 13 high card points of diamond. Okay, so I know what to do here. This is easy. I'm just going to bit a heart. Two no trumps. All right, so North, North has 18 or 19, and I've got um, 13. So we've got 30-odd points between the two hands. If I bid, now, this is a bit of a system thing that you've got to talk about with your partner, but um, I think if I, I can't bid four no trumps because in, in our system that's quantitative, invitational. I think four clubs is Gerber here. Yeah. The way this, the computer set up, a, a jump to four, no, four clubs after a two-no trumpet is Gerber, asking for aces. So I'm going to do that because there's just a faint chance we're missing two aces. Now, it's not, the, to be honest, it's not, the, not a great way to be bidding. I would rather get into a queue bidding auction because even if partner does have an ace, we could be missing the ace of spades, ace king of spades. So this is not ideal. Um, in a more sophisticated partnership, I would try and I'd, I'd, re, I'd bid three hearts, you know, set up hearts as the trump suit, and then maybe start Q bidding, which is just showing individual controls. But we don't have that available. So it's no good crying over it. I've cried enough this session already. Um, so I'm not crying anymore. I'm just going to do what I can. Just make sure we're not missing two aces. 
Uh, so no, we're not. North has got two aces. Very rarely do I actually, I don't think I even play Gerber with my normal partners ever, but that's what we've got available here. So four clubs, I can never remember the responses. So I just work my way up in steps. Four diamonds is the first step. None, four diamonds, one. Sorry, four diamonds, none. Four hearts, one. Four spades, two. North has two aces, so I'm just going to bid six hearts. There's no point asking for kings. That would be a complete waste because it doesn't matter how many kings North's got, I'm still going to play in six hearts. I'm not going to play in seven hearts. I'm going to play in six hearts. So, you know, I could bid five clubs asking for kings, but whatever North responded, I would still bid six hearts. So it, there's no point asking a question if I don't care what the answer is. And we, uh, we what have we got? Six heart tricks, two club tricks on that lead. So that's eight, 19, 11, 12. 12 tricks are easy enough. Well, actually, providing the hearts break. So let's just make sure. Now, if West has got Jack-10 for the hearts, there's nothing I can do. If East has got Jack-10 for the hearts, I can still um, finesse East. So even if West shows out here, I've got, I've still, I'm still going to make all the heart tricks. Okay, West does not show out, so that's fine. Now, I'm just thinking, I can play, yeah, let's just grab another heart. Okay, so hearts break now. I can, so I've got 12 tricks for sure. Was there's two ways I could get another trick here? I could finesse the spade, or I could, you know, maybe the jack of diamonds drops. So how can I combine those chances? Well, I can play three rounds of diamonds, queen of diamonds, ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, and throw something. And if the diamonds I can do this. Uh, if the diamonds break, if the if the jack of diamonds drops, that's great. My nine of diamonds is a winner. If the jack of diamonds doesn't drop, then I can still take the spade finesse. So I'm just going to play queen of diamonds, ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, Okay, the diamond doesn't drop. So I actually I can I can now take the spade finesse, but I sort of don't. I'm just going to play it out and show you what I mean. So I can rough that, and now I can play the ace of clubs. Now I'm pretty sure West has got the king of clubs. So I can just play the ace of clubs and run all my hearts. Oh, so West has thrown the king of clubs. So West, I think West was probably stonkered. Oh, no, West didn't need to throw the ace of clubs. Well, I don't know. Yeah, West was, I'm not quite sure why West threw the king of clubs there. He didn't need to. So we end up with a we end up with a trick we didn't really deserve there, but we'll take it. Okay, I was actually um, I was playing bridge yesterday, and you know today I've I've um, I've had some bad scores. I've misclicked. I've um, played one hand. I really didn't know how to play it and got a bad score. Uh, it reminds me of. I was playing yesterday, just a practice game. Um, and the first, I hope, um, don't don't tell it, this is just between you and me. Uh, the, 
I was having a practice game and the first two hands I was dummy. It was online and um, my partner was declarer and he was really slow. It's not, and I'm not complaining, it's fine. We were there to practice and think. But the first two hands were really slow and I was dummy for 20 minutes. And I thought, okay, God, this is really boring. No complaints, but I was bored. And then um, we played on a little bit further and I played... Then I was declaring in a hand, and it was a little tricky, and um, I had to try and guess who had the missing cards, and I played it out, and, you know, I was a little lucky. Cards were the way I wanted it, but it was a tricky hand, and I could feel, not nervous, but tension, you know. I was aware that it was a tricky hand. So... And then later on, there were some distractions. I was playing online uh, with people from around the world, and I was playing online, and there were various distractions that I had to deal with. So then there was sort of mild annoyance at the distractions. So the reason I'm saying this is yesterday, while I was playing, it's a real emotional sort of roller coaster. I was, I had boredom, I had excitement, I had frustration at the distractions, all those things. And um, here we are today, and I've misclicked, I've not been sure what to do. And I think that's the reality with bridge. So we think it's a we think it's a very technical game and we have to make all the right decisions. And if we just knuckle down and try hard, um, everything's going to be fine. But honestly, I don't think it works like that. I think uh, I know myself, it takes uh, a lot of it's hard to keep it's hard to keep steady and it's hard to you know they say one hand it's just play the next hand play the next hand it's all over I don't know about you guys I don't think it works like that not without a lot of effort so um, I'm not sure while I'm saying that but I just think it's a very emotional, emotional game. Our brain, you know, we could be hang gliding or base jumping or something, and our brain would be sending all these this adrenaline and stuff through our body. We're just playing bridge. You wouldn't think it matters. But the brain doesn't seem to differentiate between doing something that's life-threatening and and playing a game like bridge the brain still thinks oh and sends all its, all its chemicals through our body brain can't differentiate so you know it is it's an emotional game um anyway that's all i i don't have any solutions to it <laughs> okay uh one club yeah i get a bit of spade here it's not great but i've got six of them Uh, one club, one spade, two clubs, three no trumps. So that's a pass. I think I'm still going to lead a spade east. I'm still going to lead a spade. You never know. Maybe north has got something. Oh, ace. Look at that. That's good. Oh, and a, another spade. Great. Awesome. So I can just uh, win and clear the spades. Um, East has only got the Queen of Spades left. There's only one spade. So whatever spade I play back, I know East is going to win the trick with the Queen, and then all the spades will be gone. So uh, this, what I'm going to do here, it doesn't matter which spade I play back. I could play the 2, 3, 8, or 10. They're all the same. So I'm going to play the 10 back, and the message from message i'm giving north is that i've got a high uh, that i've got a heart so if north gets the lead north will know to lead a heart now if i had the ace of clubs i'd lead back the two of spades so I'd lead the 10. i don't suppose north's going to get the lead anyway but you never know
Okay, and we're in. So East, fair enough from East. East had Queen Jack third of spades. That's a stopper. You know, can't fault East bidding there. 10, 15, 18 high card points, spade stopper. So nothing wrong with the bidding. Uh, east, east, east and West bid fine. It's just that uh, they didn't have enough tricks. Nothing wrong with that bidding at all. One club, one spade, two clubs. Bow East, 10, 14, 16, 18 high card points, spade stopper, five card club suit. Yeah, I would have bid three no trumps too. All right, okay, let's play hand seven. Just on uh, uh, just on that subject, when you when you are when we are playing bridge and we find it's getting tense, I've, I've over the years found all sorts of things to do to to get back get back to my sort of base equilibrium level. Um, uh, I, I, one thing I find helpful is if I'm playing in a room full of people, when what tends to happen when there's four people at the table very close, you know, bridge is an unusual game because four of us are that far away from each other. So we really feel all that personal you know, space thing. Um, I find it helpful to look around um, the room and remind myself of the big wide world out there. Or it kind of sounds a little silly, I know, but um, when you're writing the bids down or writing the score down and, and you've got a pen or a pencil, just this kind of stupid, I know, but touching, rubbing the rubbing the pencil, rub the pencil, just touching the wooden pencil or something, just to I find it helps. <laughs> like it's like hug a tree. I don't know, but it's just something to break that, um, just something to break that, uh, you know, get out of the, get out of the bad space, if you like. Six, seven, eight high card points, seven cards, oh, uh, six cards suit. Uh, I guess I could bid two spades here. I'm going to call it a week two in spades. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um pretty good hand but i'm i'm still going to call it a week two in spades suzanne saying still in japan yep still in japan for another week suzanne back back to new zealand on sunday monday right so what have we got well I think I want to. Uh, lots of ways I could play this. Maybe Ace King of Hearts throwing a club at the diamonds and another diamond attempting to rough a diamond. That might work. Um, I could play Ace of Hearts, draw some trumps. Now I'm going to try and I'm going to try and rough one of my diamonds. So I'm going to play Ace of Hearts. Two, three. Jack, it looks like I suspect West has started with led a four card suit to the 10, 7, 6, 5. Maybe West has got 10, 7, 6, 5, and maybe East has got Queen Jack doubled in a hearts. I suspect it's something like that. So. I think I'm just going to play King of Hearts. I'm going to play King of Hearts, throwing a club, Ace of Diamonds, and another diamond. Oh, actually, I didn't need to play the nine. That was silly. Ten of Hearts. Yep, I'm pretty sure I got that right. So I can just rough a diamond. Did we play the Ten of Hearts there? Yeah, I think he did, didn't he? Can't remember. Just pitch my club. Oh, <laughs> too playing too fast. 
east rough and I but I was just playing too fast. So in fact is I'm not playing well today because I'm not concentrating. What can I say? I noticed that one. Okay, so the east and west have given it back to me, so that's fine. Okay, so I get a good score. I am not it's I'm not playing well. Just lucky. Uh Marianne saying see a couch behind me. Yeah, I'm sitting. Yeah, that's quite right. <laughs> ah, right, let's focus. Rub the pencil. Dave, if you're very kind, Dave D, thank you. I the fact is I make plenty of mistakes all the time. Um, so, but thank you. Yes, it does. It does. It's certainly not chatting and talking is, uh, you know, multitasking isn't my best, isn't my forte. <laughs> okay, let's focus. One club, uh, one spade. Eh, uh, I'm going to bid two clubs. It's not great, but I don't want to defend a spade. I do have five of them, so we're not vulnerable, so I'm quite happy to... Um, um compete on this hand i don't really want to do any more though five clubs oh okay north all right fair enough well that's not going to make so we're going to lose three spades and a diamond and a heart probably West has pitched a heart. West has pitched two hearts. That's sort of good news. So, well, now West has thrown a couple of hearts, so maybe, oh, and East has thrown a heart. Okay. Maybe the heart's from, I don't know. Let's just keep on playing the clubs. And another heart. Okay, my heart's run. East has thrown two hearts and West has thrown two hearts. So my heart's run. Now, i just got to be careful not to get stuck in the wrong hand here. So I'm just going to play... So I ended up going one off. <laughs> so there you go. So that uh, that actually turned out okay because East and West could have made four spades. Yeah, four spades is, is uh, um, four spades by East and West would have made. So five clubs turns out to be a good result as it happens it's a crazy game isn't it look what a crazy game bridges hmm. okay 10 11 high card points one heart one spade this time show two five card suits just normal to bid one spade here two hearts now i just don't like this Got 11. North can still have a decent hand, but my hand's just not good. It looks like it could easily be a misfit here. North probably got a six card heart suit, but um, we, maybe we can make game. But, you know, maybe we got 20 odd points between the two hands and it's a misfit. So I'm not super keen on this. Q from Star Trek is saying three diamonds. That That's fine. It's no. Um, 
no disagreement there, Q. Um, the only thing is three diamonds would be forcing, and I'm not I'm not entirely sure I want to force on this hand because it looks like a misfit. This could be one of those horrible hands where just nothing makes because we don't have a fit anywhere. Um, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a bad score by passing because, yeah, and maybe some people are going to be in game making. That's fine. I'm not going. To, I'm certainly not going to get a top score by. Um, I'm not going to get a top score by passing. Agreed. But I don't think I'm going to get a bad score by passing anyway because I suspect there's going to be quite a few people in game maybe going down. So I'm going to take a conservative pass. No, says Q. Yeah, no. But yeah, I'm going to pass. I just don't like it. Misfit hand. Yeah, I don't know. Three no trumps, four, five, six. Three no trumps wouldn't have been easy. Three no trumps would have been tricky hand. So here we are in two hearts. Good. That's so far so good. Six. We're missing. What do we do now? Do we want to draw? Do we want to draw some trumps, or do we just want to? I think I probably do actually. I think I'm, I mean, I could play diamonds again, but West is just going to rough. So I'm just going to play Ace of Hearts, another heart, or Jack of Hearts. That's fine. So let's, let's uh, throw a club. Ace. Whoa, look at this. This is working out well now. Uh, Let's play to the, what's that, uh, King of Spades. And I've got the rest. Huh. So I'm going to end up making 10 tricks, but I'm quite happy just to be in. What have I got? i got... Uh, Yeah, diamond finesse, diamond spade. Yeah, so I can finesse the diamond. Pretty sure that's going to win. Ace of diamonds throwing a club. Jack of spades throwing a club. And rough. Now, I think that's going to be an okay score. There you go, 84%. Why did I think it's – why? Why? Because I think a lot of people would be in game on that hand going down. Because it's not an easy hand to make any game in. And um, But I also suspected I wasn't going to get a top score. So that's, that's pretty accurate, right? So those misfit hands, misfit hands, um, two no trumps making three or, or two hearts making four on a misfit sort of a hand is still going to be a good score not going to be a top i nailed that one right i nailed that one q saying if i played three diamonds what would have happened well the thing is q i couldn't play three diamonds i could not play three diamonds because three diamonds would be forcing uh let's just let me show you what i mean here if i redeal even if three diamonds is the right contract i could never get there Okay, if I bid three diamonds now, North is not allowed to pass. North has to bid something. Okay, and so North bids three no trumps, which would not have been beautiful. Okay, so it took nine hands, but finally nailed something. <laughs> hey, Peter, welcome. Okay, one club... Um, 15 high card points. Ooh. 
All right, what are we going to do on this one? We've got 15 high card points. East has opened a club. Um, I could double, but I don't have heart support. I could bid a spade, but I don't have five of them. I could bid a no trump, but I've only got a singleton heart. I could pass, but I don't really want to pass on, on that hand. So... What do we do? What do you reckon? So Q's going double. Now I'm not again. I'm I'm not disagreeing Q at all. I'm not disagreeing, but what I'm simply going to point out. I'm not going to point out the good ideas about double. I'm only going to point out the bad ideas of your double, just as a lesson. So I'm certainly not disagreeing with the double, but double. I'm supposed to have support for the unbid suits, for all the unbid suits. And I've only got a singleton heart. Um, Heather's saying one spade. Yep, one spade, except it shows a five-card suit. Uh, Andrea's saying one diamond. Yep, except one diamond is an overcall, and it shows a five-card suit. Mary Ann's saying one no trump, uh, except I've only got a singleton heart. Um John, John suggesting two clubs. Well, two clubs would be Michael's showing five spades and five hearts. So you know, nothing works. There's no bid. There's zero bids that accurately describe my hand. Dave D saying pass. Pass is fine. I don't mind pass either. But again, it seems strange not to be bidding with all this great strength. So whatever we choose, and this does happen, from time to time, whatever we choose, there's a flaw. So we just have to pick something. Now, actually, if, if you don't mind, I will, uh, I'm just going to slightly go back to what we were talking about before. While you're thinking about what you would do here, I have this idea that when these, when this sort of situation comes along, we have to make a decision. And any decision could be right or could be wrong. There's flaws of whatever we do. But we have to choose something. And that's great. If we get stressed about our decision, then we're going to get into stress mode. But maybe we're not. I mean, maybe on this hand, we're fine. We can make a decision. We realize it's a difficult decision, but we make that decision anyway. Now, I, I strongly suspect that our brain is only capable of making a certain number of tricky decisions before it gets some sort of decision fatigue. And this is why I believe that certain players, I'm not going to say any names, <laughs> but you know who they are, certain players, when they're playing, they seem to get slower and slower and slower. Oh, so they start off okay, and then every single hand it, it takes an eternity think it's to do with decision fatigue just the way the brain works so in this situation what i find i've got to do is i just have to make a decision and i have to force myself to ex just accept that decision and move on before i see the result otherwise i get this build up of decision fatigue so for example this one you know dave d saying rub my pencil and pass yep i'm going to rub my pencil and pass I don't care what happens, whether it's a good result or a bad result. It was a hard hand. I made my decision. It's gone. Otherwise, I'm going to have decision fatigue for the rest of the session. Okay, I'm going to bid two spades now. Again, it's a hard hand, but I don't want to defend two hearts. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Why? <laughs> Sorry. Why did I bid two hearts now and not before? Two spades now. Well, East and West had a heart fit. So if they have a heart fit, we've probably got a fit somewhere. And um, I don't want to defend two hearts. So this worked out okay. Okay, what are we going to do? I'm just going to play this quickly because I've been talking forever. So I'm just going to make up for some lost time here. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Sort of going to cross rough here, I think. Uh, 
he's a oh, rip. I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm just rattling through this pretty quickly because I'm. I'm not really thinking what I'm doing. I'm just playing fast because I talk too much. Um, I got it. I actually play this, I suppose. Oh, actually, I, mean, I probably shouldn't have done that. And that was stupid. Oh, maybe not. Queen, 10? Nope. Oh, no, North had the 10, didn't he? Yeah, so that's 10 tricks. <laughs> uh, Dave D is saying, if I bid one spade first, yeah, it is a quite a, it is sort of an interesting, subtle point here. If I had bid one spade, North would have thought I had five. So the fact that I didn't bid one spade and then bid two spades Maybe North realized that I didn't have a um, five-card suit. I'm not sure. Anyway, that was a fun set of hands. Um, that, uh, you know, I, I think the mental, emotional aspect of bridge is, is I find it quite interesting. To be honest, I find it the best bit about bridge is that thing. I find we could be doing anything, but playing something like bridge where, honestly, it doesn't really matter because it is a game. But it's good. It's it's good because we get to try our, you know, work on our work on work on our mind. Work on our mind. It's something that ultimately doesn't really matter because it's still just a fun game. Okay, thanks everybody. I will look forward to seeing you next week. And next week I'll be in Nelson, New Zealand. See ya. <laughs>